how to play Tiger Banana Pancake. Start by shuffling all the cards. Then put them in the middle of the table so everyone can reach. Make sure every player gets a reference card so they know what to do. And the last player who ate pancakes flips the first card. For tigers, put your claws out and growl. Whoever's the slowest has to keep that card. Next player flips the next card. For bananas, hands up. And same thing, whoever's slowest keeps that card. Let's say you get a pancake. Players just clap their hands. For kitty litter, drum your hands on the table. And if you happen to get the hot sauce, fan your face like it's hot. For the fried chicken, all you gotta do is the chicken nets. Watch out for those sneaky imposters though. If you see one, slap it as fast as you can and the first player to do that gets to keep it. Make sure to put it beside your stack, not in it. And then to use its powers, take three cards from your stack and give it to any player that you want. You can give them all to one player or split it. There's a few more imposters in this deck, so keep your eye out them and just be really fast to capture them. As you'll see, there's a cat in a tiger suit, a banana pepper in a banana suit, and a waffle in a pancake suit. Then, there's the investigator. This card ends the game, but the first player to put their mustache up gets to cake, take that card and use it for its powers to give away five cards from their stack to any player of their choice. This is super powerful, it can completely change the game. At the end of the game, players are going to count their cards in their stack, and the player who had the least amount of cards wins the game. But, let's say that there was a game where you both had equal number of cards in your stack. Then the player who caught the most imposters would win the game in that case as the tiebreaker. Enjoy! Happy playing!